Hey guys, you're watching GShack Tech, and today I want to just recap um, Apple's keynote. Um, it released a few applications dealing with the textbook industry, um, iTunes U, iBooks 2, and iBooks Author. They're probably going to have really um, amazing effects on the market of textbooks and the um, publishing industry. So with that, let's get right into the video. So a couple of days ago, um, Apple had a keynote and they released um, a couple of new applications. Um, the first one is iTunes U. Um, this is a really awesome application. It is free, by the way, um, on the App Store right now. It is going to give you a plethora of books, of textbooks, I should say, for college, from college all the way from kindergarten to 12th grade. Um, it's, an, it's entirely redesigned. It has a lot more publishers. Um, in the in the iTunes U application, um, before it was sort of limited, but now it's extremely huge. Um, there are textbooks um, from all major courses, from engineering, robotics, computing, um, biology, mathematics. All those are in iTunes U. I was checking it out. It was actually really cool. There's actually video lectures from professors on that application for free. I just downloaded it, and I was watching some engineering college lecture. And there's pretty introductions. There's um, actual more questions to do um, on the application, and there's pretty much. A lot of it's for free, but for the newer um, updated um, textbooks out there, it does cost around fifteen dollars to buy and download. Um, but compared to actual prices, um, a really good deal um, for buying textbooks if you're a college student. Uh, the next major thing is they updated is iBooks too. Um, just basically again, they re totally redesigned the application and they added more um, options, availability of books within the iBooks um, application. There's a, a lot more authors in there, and there's a lot more possibilities to download from and most of them are free you can um, you can have a free trial of like a chapter or so to read but you then you can buy the book as well um, this is this is in sort of competition to Kindle and Amazon and I think they might be able to pull it off if they keep um, the right set of ideas around this iBooks too and lastly probably the most major one they have application they launched was iBooks Author. This order goes hand in hand with iBooks too. Um, iBooks Author basically allows you to be the author of your own book. It sort of cuts out the middleman of the publishing company and allows you to write your book and publish it right on iBooks Author. You don't need a publishing company to do this. Um, I think it's very awesome. It shows that Apple is really attacking the publishing companies um, out there. And basically Apple is trying to allow um, personal authors who aren't necessarily famous just yet do it on their own and let the App Store what it has done to um, application creators do for authors um, with the iBooks author. I think it's actually really cool. It's probably going to have a huge um, effect on the um, publishing market out there. Um, hopefully it will. I think it might help. There's little name authors out there. And I really want to see what comes out of it. So that's pretty much it for this recap of the Apple Keynote dealing with iBooks and iBooks Author. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. I want to see if this actually matters to you or what you think about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my channel, DShack Tech, for more product reviews, Apple News Rumors, and app reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes, the iPhone OS is extremely elegant and extremely easy to use, but some days I want more than just ease of use of the iPhone. I want um, more the top corner you see this little um, these two arrows that basically allows you to go full screen